Hello everyone, Ms. Mayorga again with part two of lesson six. Hopefully we only need a part two and I don't need to move on to a part three. Let's go ahead and continue. We left off on bubble seven. We're going to pick up on bubble eight. So make sure you're starting off on bubble eight or fast forward to the part that you need to fast forward to. But let's do bubble eight. Ah, yes, bubble eight is another video. So go ahead and pause my video. Please watch bubble eight and then Come back to me. All right, welcome back. Let's continue to bubble nine. Adding a style sheet. This web developer has been working on some style for the page, but has forgotten to add the style sheet, so none of them work. Do this. Inside the HTML page, add the code that will link the style sheet to the web page. So if you watch the video, <laughs> if you watch the video, then you should know what code needs to be added to link the pages. If you didn't, go back and watch the video. Okay, but luckily for you, it's in here anyways. This little picture just shows you um, the different parts of what you're seeing on your screen. Part one is how you add a CSS file, right? To add a CSS style rules to an HTML page, you need to create a style sheet document. So if we ever wanna add CSS, a style sheet, we have to click add CSS. Luckily for us, it's already there. The second part is showing you where the style sheet is under files on the left side, right? And the third part is showing you how to link your style sheet. So link to your style sheet. This link goes inside the head tag of the HTML file and looks like this. So what we need to do is we, we need to add this link tag. There are two ways you can do this. You can just type it in by hand um, or you can highlight this copy it, Control-C, Command-C, and then go in between the head tags. Make sure you're paying attention. In between the head tags. So look at my screen. Look at where I'm at. We have doc type. We have HTML. Then we have the head tag. So we're going to go in between, right there, in between. That's where we're going to paste the link tag, Command-V. And as you can see, my page automatically updated and it incorporated the styling that we added or that was already there. It incorporated these changes into the web page. If you paste it um, and it doesn't update, again, make sure you click refresh and save. And that's all we're doing in this page. We're just learning how to link the two. If you don't link them, if you don't link, it's not highlighting it. I'm trying to delete it. If the link isn't there, your computer's the the program is not going to know that you want the the web page to be styled differently. You have to connect. You have to make that connection between the HTML file and the the style sheet style.css. Sorry, I got stuck. So again, all we did was highlight the code that's here in the instructions, copy it, Control C, and paste it in here. If that's not working for you, just type it out. Right. Lesson sign link space rel equals don't forget the quotation marks style sheet another quotation mark space href equals and the file name quotation marks style dot css you can also just click on it you see how it showed up as soon as I said equal, it showed up. You can click on it and it'll type it in for you. And then don't forget that greater than symbol at the end. Okay, we've connected the style sheet. It works. It made the changes. We are done with bubble nine. Let's continue on to bubble 10. This is the last bubble for lesson six. For this one, we have to go back to our notebook to read our instructions to figure out what we have to do. Okay, um, bubble 10. Remember, I'm not grading this, but it's helpful for you to practice. So bubble 10, complete activity G, add a style sheet and two rule sets. In other words, change the way two parts of the web page look, color and or size. All right, so that's step one. We're gonna add um, two rule sets to activity G. Let's click on activity G, add a style sheet. So we're going to add a style sheet 
Let's click add.css on the top left, add.css. When you click it, this will automatically pop up. The file is named new-1.css. If you want to rename this, you can right click and you'll get a chance to rename. So if you want to rename that to style sheet, you can, or you can just leave it the way it is. All right, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. It's fine, it doesn't bug me, um, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Now that you created your style sheet, there's something very important that you have to do in the HTML document. Do you remember what that is? I'll give you a hint. What did we do in Bubble 9? Yes, we have to connect the files. We have to link, we have to use the link tag. So again, go to head, mine three, there's no space in between, so I'm going to go ahead and click enter so that I have a space in between. Now I have space in between, and this is where I'm going to type that tag, the link tag. I'll type it on my screen, and you can copy it. So the less than sign, link, R-E-L, equals, this is telling the computer, hey, we're going to connect a style sheet. Don't forget those quotation marks. Don't forget those quotation marks. Space. And now we're going to tell the computer, hey, here is the name of the file. href, reference href, equals, and you can just click on the file and it'll fill in the rest of the information for you, or you can type it yourself. Just make sure that the file name matches the name on the left side. So new hyphen one, CSS. I have to type the exact same thing, new-1.css. Again, you can just click on the name that shows up and it'll do it for you. Quotation marks. And don't forget that greater than sign at the end. There, you don't need a backslash here. I know usually when we close, we have a backslash, but this is, in, this is a different type of tag. All right, so we just need the greater than sign at the end. Double check that your code looks like mine on the screen. Pause the video if you need to pause the video, and then we'll continue. Okay, now that we've linked our pages, we can go back to the style sheet and add some style. We want to change two things on here. The colors, the size, the color and the size, it's up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the main, mm, yeah, I'm going to change the color of the main title. So I need to figure out what tag is that. I'm gonna use my inspector tool. I'm gonna to figure out, okay, what tag belongs to flowers? And if I look at my code, the tag that belongs to flowers is H1, H1. So in my style sheet, I need to make sure that I'm working with the H1 section. Now you don't have to do this, but for me, for organization purposes, I like to have spaces between my sections. So I'm just gonna add an extra space here between each section. That way I can clearly see that they're separate. So the body, paragraph, H1. Now I can add a property to change the color. Right now there's a property to, for the font weight. You can leave that there. I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm going to add color as my property and I need my value. Go ahead and if you're doing the same thing as I am, go ahead and pick a color. Uh, this time flowers, maybe like a pink color, pale violet or green, uh, sea green. Sure. I picked sea green. You can pick any color you want. And then don't forget that semicolon at the end. Don't forget that semicolon at the end, okay? So that's one thing that I changed. I changed the color of the title. I would also like to change the color of these subtitles. Rose, hibiscus, and reflesia are not the, the titles of the, of the flowers. So I need to figure out what part of my code is that. Let's go back to index. And I need to figure out what part is that. That is H2. 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 Yeah, 
So I need to add a rule set for H2. Go back to my style sheet. I'm going to go to the end of my rule sets, hit enter two times, so I have some space. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but I need to do it for H2. Open curly brace, hit enter two times, close curly brace. Awesome. Now I can go in between and add my properties and values. Color. Mm, what color? Is there a rose color? Oh, I kind of like this crimson red. No, but that looks like Christmas. Okay. Um, what goes with the green? A yellow? Might be too bright. I wish there was like a... Well, you can find your color. <laughs> All right. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to figure out my color. Find your color, whatever color you want. You know what I might do? I might do that as dark salmon and I'm going to change the sea green. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that dark salmon. Don't forget that semicolon at the end. And I'm going to change the sea green to a type of red. Um, dark red. There we go. I like that a little bit better. Yeah. So I decided to change these titles. Rose, Hibiscus, Rafflesia, Arnold by adding this rule set. If you wanna change something else, you're more than welcome to. Maybe you wanna change the color of the paragraph, or maybe you wanna change the text, the size of the text. So for example, the paragraph, maybe we want it to be font size, I don't know, uh, 20 pixels. There we go, and it makes it bigger, right? Don't forget that semicolon. I keep almost forgetting that semicolon. You can change more than two things if you want to. Uh, there is this top line changes the background color. So maybe you want your background color to be, uh, I don't know, green, right? It's gonna, oh, that does not go well with my colors, but I'm just showing you, it's an example. Uh, lavender, that kind of goes, I don't know, might be too light, background light pink, I don't know or you can keep it as white. I'm just playing around with this, right? That's the whole idea. You're just playing around, you're just exploring and learning these different ways of styling a web page. And that's all you have to do on bubble 10. You just have to change two things or add two things to make the web page look different. And let's look at our instructions again in our notebook to make sure we're finished. Uh, we are finished with activity G. Now I know your notebook says um, complete one more activity from A through F to com choose one more activity from A to through F to complete. So let's go ahead and click finish here. We're done with this activity. And one more from A through F. One more from A through F. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and debug the font size. Debug the font size. I don't have too much time left. I hope this is enough. So basically we want to fix the problem that's causing the bug. Let's look at our style.css. Here's the error. Font size. It says the word font size, but if you remember the code that we've been typing, there has to be a hyphen here. Font hyphen size, and that's going to fix the error. That's it. We just needed to add the hyphen. Just like you see font weight, we're doing the same thing for font size. There we go. Just a little extra practice with debugging and double checking how to properly write the code. Finish. Done with bubble 10. Let's look at our notebook again. Okay, we only need to go up to bubble 10. We skip bubble 11 and bubble 12 is an optional challenge. So if you would like to do bubble 12, you can go up here and just go directly to it, bubble 12. You are welcome to do any of these. These are uh, introducing other ways of styling your text, changing the font, underlining, letter spacing, alignment, shadow. The shadow one is really cool, so I recommend looking at that one. Or if you just wanna play around with, with HTML and CSS and just do your own thing, you can click free play. All right, so again, this is optional, extra challenge. You don't have to do it, all right, it's just optional. But that's it for lesson six. I hope this was helpful. If you get stuck anywhere, if you have any questions, like always, message me on Schoology or let me know in class. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, day. I'll see you in class.